Hey there, how are you doing? Team Win Central here, and we welcome you all to the hands on video review of the Windows 10 Mobile Preview Build 15043. Microsoft has pushed this build to Windows Insiders in fast ring, and this build has come after a break. So, Microsoft took a break, and in between, they did not release any of the builds. Perhaps they were uh, trying to get a good build out, and we will evaluate this build. In this video, we will also talk about uh, a major improvement basically which was not covered in the official change log but we observed it so we'll talk about that as well so coming to the first thing which is installation experience so the installation experience uh, was smooth but there may be small issues so maybe i mean at times you may face an error while trying to download this build or you can also see that there are no builds being offered so in case if there are no builds being uh, offered what you need to do is to you need to go to the settings and you need to go to the windows insider program and here you should check uh, what ring it actually shows if it shows slow ring which happened in case of this device then you need to uh, move to the fast ring and then you should be able to get the build if you are getting an error then a soft reset should help you so do a soft reset and uh, you will be probably downloading uh, the build very soon so once you start downloading the build it happens really really quickly and in our case it took around 35 to 40 minutes uh, for entire thing so build to get downloaded install and restart and data migration to be done so it, in that way it's pretty fast but obviously i mean as we mentioned there like two issues which you may face the error or uh, there will be no build offered so i we just told you how to actually uh, how we told you the workaround as how to fix those two issues now coming to how the build behaves uh, till now after like during our hands on with this build as you can see we always use uh, I mean this build as on our one of the daily drivers so uh, it, it is really good actually it's a stable uh, we did not face any crashes any reboots or any freezes etc and uh, it has worked quite well. There was one issue uh, in the last build where you could have seen that the scrolling of the app list was quite bad actually it was badly affected it could it would go hazy etc when you try to scroll it fast but now it is really working very very well so it's a big improvement in that way so it really uh, looks like a sorted build on which microsoft uh, team has worked really hard so there are no glitches uh, reboots i mean random reboots freezes and you can see the app list etc so the scrolling has really improved so basic things uh, look covered here we will quickly check other things like uh, the settings will also i mean here if you can see in action center everything looks normal so let's go to i mean quickly check how the settings work so it really looks fast So while going through the settings, you can see that it's happening quite easily, quite consistently. So that is something which we always like about the Redstone and the build is quite good in that, in that term. I mean, if you think like that, let's check Cortana, how it behaves. So it says Namaste, what is next? So good that, uh, I mean, Microsoft is, uh, localizing it so it's quite Indian doing a namaste I'm impressed okay let's send it to the background then let's quickly check the store ok 
okay so uh, we must say that we try to <coughs> update and install things here and store is really working fine till now uh, we just saw an error so that is a uh, that may be a temporary glitch but as far as uh, like our experience till now with the store goes it has been quite good not many issues that we faced let's send it to the background let's quickly check the browser <clears throat> okay so we just uh, did a HTML 6 test and it's the same so Microsoft Edge 15 and we will quickly uh, load more pages here So it happens quite fast. It's good. The page rendering uh, has been a strong point of Microsoft Edge and the build does not disappoint on it. What we will do, we will go to the YouTube and we will quickly see uh, I mean, how the video streaming works like because many times we have seen that uh, causing some kind of issue, some glitches always happen there so we will quickly see that here it goes we will quickly check the Transformers latest the last night official trailer. Let's see how it works like So far it looks so good as we saw in the browser. So let's send this to the background as well. We will quickly see how the multitasking works like. Maybe we can uh, open camera so that it gives some more uh, apps to actually multitask and it also shows how uh, well the multitasking is behaving actually. We can go for one game as well. So Subway Surfer we just installed.
Anyway, we'll uh, send it back to the background. We have to just quickly see how the multitasking works like. So here, uh, we'll try to resume the camera and it resumes quite well. We'll see the same for browsing. And the browser uh, resumes well too, so it's quite good. Cortana resumes already really fast. So in a way we can see that the multitasking works quite well here. So which is good actually so it shows that the build is stable and uh, there is a kind of consistency in the performance across the multitasking uh, works quite well i mean even we saw that the browser also uh, is uh, i mean we did not see any tab dropping till now because that, that is one issue but yes the same thing that we see many times is that uh, there is no uh, i mean true resume in case of browser so if you go like uh, you see or saw that this page uh, reloaded actually so that is not a kind of optimal solution or solution that you really want i mean it should resume otherwise it takes time actually so like youtube is reloading so it should rather resume so there is one thing which obviously microsoft should think about improving on now coming to one thing which we talked about which is a new experience which has not been shared so if you go to the bluetooth so bluetooth in the last build was not working and microsoft informed that but in this build the bluetooth has got a new experience so you can you come to here you come to the bluetooth page and you will see uh, it has changed and it looks like the windows 10 part so you may have seen on the windows 10 uh, pc version the same similar uh, bluetooth page and it is now here so it, it is now like you bluetooth on and off and you can add various devices you can add bluetooth wireless display dock or you can do anything else i mean this is how it works so here what we can see is that the bluetooth is not quite working well so uh, if you try to search a bluetooth enable device it does it not able to search it but uh, if you try to connect or uh, pair it to any other windows 10 pc you can do it from the pc so from pc you can connect to the phone but from phone you are not able to search any other device so this is one glitch but since this has been revamped and it's really a good thing because we always have kind of insisted or kind of told microsoft that this needs to be revamped because the older page was right like it's not it was not intuitive enough now it's much better so you can add a bluetooth device etc i can see whether the devices are connected is it on the same page but the only problem is that it's not working from this phone so maybe the next version fixes that but uh, for this at least the page has been revamped and it has been changed consistent to the windows 10 bluetooth ui that you can see on pc and tablets so it's a good thing now coming to how the battery life is like on this build so here you can see the battery life has been uh, quite good for us it is uh, on this device also we have seen that there are no peaks or increase in the battery discharge it is good or you can say that it is better than what we observed on the last build the last build was not pretty good it was it had many issues so microsoft took its time but it has come up with a good build which you can really live with so if you are in fast ring we totally recommend to go for this build even you are in slow ring and you want to enjoy a fast ring build this is the build you can go for because there are not too many issues the bluetooth you can see there is one issue that we see that you cannot connect from the phone but you can connect from other devices to the phone 
So apart from that, most of the things are really work like they should work. Uh, the multitasking part, as we discussed, can be fixed. Especially when we talk about uh, browser, the tabs should resume and not reload. So those kind of things can be taken care of by Microsoft. But for now, we can uh, totally recommend this build. This is a good build and uh, Microsoft the soft can actually uh, go and fix uh, whatever niggles are left in the coming order to build and when we will uh, reach close to the RTM. So with that we come to end of this video. Hope you have enjoyed watching it. So thanks for watching.